Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now that I am 1,000 miles into my Appalachian Trail through hike, I figured it was a good time to do an updated gear video because I want to show you everything I have and I feel like things have changed since February when I probably put out my last gear video and when I started the AT. So I'm going to go over everything. A couple things that you won't see. One is my tripod and my phone because I'm using those to film right now. And then also the clothes I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my puffy jacket from Enlightened Equipment, um, my sleep shirt from Virgin. I have these old like sleep pants, leggings that I don't even know where they're from, and a pair of darn tough socks. Also, my headlamp is missing because I left it in my mom's car when she visited me a couple days ago. So I'm currently doing this without a headlamp, but I think she's gonna mail it to me. Right now it's Saturday, so I probably have to wait till Monday before she can mail it. So that's a little bit of a situation I have to get by. But other than that, here is everything I have with me for my through hike. Starting with my buff, it's an orange Survivor buff. A lot of people ask if I was on Survivor. I was not. It was a Christmas present years and years ago that I think was bought off eBay. I wear that one while I'm hiking to keep my hair back and the sweat off my face. Next, I have kind of like first aid hygiene things. So that includes Q-tips, band-aids, sunblock, extra contacts, ibuprofen. Um, I have a razor and also biodegradable camp soap, which I use mainly in town. Um, a couple times I have washed my clothes in the sink using that and then just hang them up to dry and that works out fine. I also have my electronics. So I have two power banks so I can charge all my devices. One is 13,000 milliamps, the other is 5,000 milliamps. I have the thing that I plug into the wall to charge those with. I have three cables. So I have one that charges my phone and my headphones. Another cable charges my GPS and the power banks. And then the other charges my watch. And so that's my electronics. I also put a little bag in the Ziploc bag with my electronics that kind of absorbs water. I don't know exactly what that's called, but it was a tip and it doesn't weigh anything. Um, next, I have a dry bag from Hilltop Packs where I keep my electronics and my hygiene first aid products all into that bag. I have my lightweight wallet with a couple cards, ID, cash. I have hand sanitizer, have my toothbrush and toothpaste. I bring a face mask. I bought sunglasses at a gas station and I've been loving those so far. So I have sunglasses. I have my Garmin inReach. A couple other things. I have Body Glide, Bug Spray, and Gold Bond Powder. I bring chapstick. I have my earbuds, my wireless earbuds from Samsung, which are come in handy. I didn't do a lot of listening to music and podcasts in the beginning of the hike, but now that I'm a good chunk of the way through the through hike, podcasts and music are definitely helping throughout the day. Um, and also I'm doing bigger miles, so it does, it does pump me up that way. And I also have a Swiss Army knife, which I like. It has tweezers. It has toenail clippers, scissors, which I think is all really handy to have out here. I have my hairbrush because I brush my hair after every shower and in the morning because I have a lot of thick hair. I have some lotion because my skin has been getting kind of dry out here, so that's good to have. And I also have a couple things because I cut my head a couple days ago. So I do have gauze just in case, I don't know, it reopens or if I get another cut. I picked that up at CVS yesterday and I also have like an antibiotic cream that CVS recommended that I get, um, triple antibiotic and pain relief. So next I have kind of like my bathroom kit, I have my trowel to dig the cat hole, I have a Ziploc bag with toilet paper, and I also have some wet wipes to just kind of wash myself off at the end of the day. Next, my cooking kit. I still have my two original smart water bottles that I started the hike with, so I'm pretty proud that they are holding up well. I got the new Jetboil Stash, which is lighter weight than the 
the jet boil that I started with. And in here, I just have the fuel. Um, I also have my spork, my lighter, and like the stove itself, which are currently in my food bag. Um, this is my water filter. It is the Be Free from Katadyne. And I have a three liter bag because I like at camp just getting all the water and bringing it back to my tent. And it, this fits a lot of water. So it's enough to cook, drink that night, and then drink in the morning and pack out the next day. So that's really handy. I have a pee rag from Kula Cloth. And this is the bandana that I hang on the side of my pack to mostly just blow my nose with. Next, I have six tent stakes in this bag from Big Agnes. And this is my tent. It's the same duplex tent from Z-Packs, but I got a new bag because my other bag, I forget what was wrong with it. Do you remember what was wrong with it? The, the clip. Oh. I got rid of my z Packs bag because it didn't close. So I think this thing fell off of it. And when I hung it up on the side of my backpack, my tent would just open and I didn't like it being exposed. So I got this at a gear shop in Daleville, Virginia. Next, I have my food bag right there. It is full of food. I'm not gonna go through it right now, but that is from Hilltop Packs. It's a custom food bag with me and Callie on it, so that's really nice. Next, I think we can get into some of my clothing. So right here, these are the Saucony Peregrine 11 men's trail running shoes. So I started with Ultra Low Peaks, wore them for the first 30 miles, and I had foot pain when I got to Neil Gap. So they kind of sat me down and um, showed me a bunch of different options while I was at that gear shop, and these were the ones I liked the most. The pair I got there lasted me over 900 miles, and then I went on Amazon and got the same exact pair in a different color. So now these are only like one or 200 miles old, and I love them. I also have the Gators from Ultra that I wear on top of them. The only thing with these, they don't have the, they don't come with the Velcro on the back, so I bought Velcro and Gorilla Glue at Target and was able to just fix that myself. I also still have camp shoes. These are the Z-Trail camp shoes from um, Zero. Next, I have a visor that I haven't worn in a really long time, but I like wearing it under my rain jacket when it's raining just to make the, the hood, the visor stick out more so rain doesn't get in my face. I also still have my fleece mittens. For socks, I have three pairs of Darn Tough socks and one pair of Indinji Toe Miner socks, which I love, and these definitely prevent blisters. I haven't gotten any on trail yet. For more clothing, I have underwear from Ex Officio, a bra from Old Navy, I have running shorts from Old Navy, a t-shirt from my gift shop, which I'll plug right now if you want a New Hampshire hiking t-shirt, it's at newhampshiregifts.com or newhampshirehiker.com, whatever you think is easier. Um, they come in men's and women's, so I have to shout out my own gift shop. Why not? I have a long sleeve hiking shirt from Mountain Hardware. I have hiking pants from Amazon. And my hiking hoodie right here is from Melanzana. Right here I have my trekking poles. These are from REI. And they're pretty basic. I didn't do much research when I bought trekking poles, but they've been working out very well for me. Um, my clothes all go into this dry bag from Sea to Summit. It's an eight liter bag. I also have rain mitts. I think my favorite time to wear these are when I'm, is when I'm packing up my tent and there's water and mud on my tent. I wear these and roll my tent up so I don't get like wet and muddy when I do it. So I just keep my hands dry. Um, I don't really want to get rid of them, but they're really handy for things like that. Uh, I have my rain pants from REI. 
but I did order a new pair of rain pants online a couple weeks ago. I got the Virtus rain pants from Z-Pax, which are probably only like a third of the weight. So I figured I didn't need heavy duty rain pants anymore because um, these are probably, I'm gonna guess like eight ounces. Um, so I think the summer months I can get a more lightweight option for that. Um, and then I have the Virtus rain jacket from Z-Pax as well, and it's been working out really well. I do have a hole in the armpit, but I put duct tape on that. That happened at mile 250, and the duct tape is working fine. Um, Z-Pax offered to fix it, send it back, or get a repair kit, but the duct tape's working just fine for me, so I'll keep it like that, at least for the rest of this through hike. Also... My backpack, I am using the Z-Pax Arc Air. It's a 50 liter pack. And I get a lot of questions about it because it's a brand new pack. I think Z-Pax just came out with it. And I love it a lot. The only problem I have is that the arch, um, the metal rod that kind of does the arch in the back pops out um, almost daily. So it's just one of the arches that keeps popping out I don't, I'll figure out how to fix it. It is kind of annoying because I can only get it back into the backpack when the backpack's empty. But that's the only problem I have. Um, it's definitely big enough to fit all my gear now that I have downsized a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying it so far. I have all the same attachments. So my phone pocket, my water bottle pocket, and then two hip belt pockets. And also my hiker tag from when I attempted in 2020. Um, next I have my pillow from Sea to Summit, the inflatable pillow. I still carry my down booties, not because my feet get cold at night, but because they're pretty comfortable and I'd rather wear these to bed than a regular pair of socks. And I think last but not least, I have my quilts. This is the 10 degree convert from Enlightened Equipment and I really like it. Um, it does, it's pretty warm. You still get cold nights. It snowed a couple days ago on the mountains. So I'm not switching out to a warmer quilt just yet, but when it does get warm, I can easily open it up and it spreads out to a large blanket. So that allows for some extra airflow. I also have a foam sleeping pad that I switched to. I had an inflatable sleeping pad and I switched to a foam pad just to try it out. Um, I think blowing up an inflatable pad gets kind of annoying, but Stretch is actually stretching on the foam pad right now, so we're not going to bug him. We're going to let him keep doing that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and that's going to conclude my little gear update video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back. I will probably do a couple more gear updates along the trail as I slowly switch to a more summer gear list. I really want to become a little more ultra light. I did order a 38 liter pack from Z Packs, so we'll see how that goes. And I'll keep you guys updated. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Dude, I'm learning all kinds of unique techniques from YouTube.